hello again. The other day, a friend came to me and said, I've been taking this statin drug, you know, and imagine, it turns out I am diabetic now. I've never had problems with blood sugar before. On top of everything, I go to my doc and he prescribes an anti-diabetic drug now. Shall I continue with both treatments? This just seems so wrong to me, she said. According to the available evidence, higher intensity statin therapies such as rosuvastatin, simvastatin, and atorvastatin have an increased risk of diabetes compared to less intensive statins such as pravastatin, fluvastatin, lovastatin, and pitavastatin. The summary of product characteristics of high-intensity statins states that the frequency of hyperglycemia in treated patients ranges from 1 in 10 to 1 in 100 patients. Higher doses of statins are also associated with a greater risk of diabetes. Long-term use of statins is another factor that increases the risk of diabetes. However, the duration of the treatment with statins necessary to induce diabetes is still unknown. Besides statin type, dose, and treatment duration, what other factors predispose or protect the person from this adverse effect? Interestingly, patients with familiar hypercholesterolemia were shown to have lower rates of diabetes when treated with statins. Is this really a protective factor against diabetes? Remains to be confirmed. If your doctor estimates that you are a candidate for developing diabetes during statin therapy, he can prescribe low-intensity therapy, but only if your risk of suffering myocardial or brain infarction in the next 10 years is low or moderate. If your doctor estimates that you need a high-intensity statin therapy based on your cardiovascular risk assessment, he will prescribe it regardless of your potential to develop diabetes and ask for frequent monitoring of blood glucose parameters during the treatment. Now, what happens if a person develops diabetes while being on high-intensity statin therapy? According to some authors, in patients with high cardiovascular risk, Changes in once established statin therapy should be avoided, and antidiabetics should be prescribed for blood sugar control. One old doctor once said, sickness is felt, health is not. So my message to you is have a healthy lifestyle and try to feel your health all the time.